Hey guys, what's up? Um, so it's been a while since I made a Fire Red video, yeah. Felt like making one for a change. Yeah, we're gonna start in the after game stuff, but before we do that, I wanna show you guys something really quick. Um, everywhere, well, there, there's, I believe there's four, well, five, my bad, five, around the Kanto region here. There are Oak's aides, there are helpers of Oak, Professor Oak, and each one of them, if you you catch a certain amount of Pokemon, they will give you some sort of item. Um, if you remember at the beginning, uh, there was this one that was on like Route 4 or 5 that gave you the Flash, which helped you see through the darkness in uh, Mount Moon. What? Wait, no. Um, in the Rock Tunnel, my bad. And you needed at least 10 species, or 10 10 Pokemon. You need at least 10, 10 Pokemon to get that. And over, and with this one, this is right beside the Rock Tunnel. I'm um, in the Pokemon Center. This Oaksaid will give you an Everstone, which helps you, or if you hold it on a Pokemon, it will not make them evolve as long as they hold it. And you need at least 20 species of Pokemon to uh, get the Everstone there. Next place I'm going to take you is Vermilion City, which is where you can get the item finder for uh, 30, I believe. 30 Pokemon that you caught. I just thought I'd show you, like, all these Oats aids before, you know, we go out to, uh, go to the after game, you know, what was that? If the audio quality sounds weird, I'm not sure why. It sounds like it's, like, sparking a little bit on my side. I just have to live with it because I'm not sure why. 30 species. He'll give you an item finder. Quiet, yes, I have 60. Congratulations, yeah. Next place we're going is uh, Celadon City, I believe, here. And over here in the, the building like that one, you can find an amulet coin, which double if the Pokemon that goes out first in a battle is holding it. Well, I think if it just appears in general, like on the thing. Oh, sorry, I was checking the auto quality. Sorry. <laughs> saying you can find the amulet coin and if a Pokemon appears in battle that's holding it it will double your earnings from the battle well I'm not sure if it doubles it it just earns more money from what that Oats aid says I have to try to fix the audio quality next time. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's a little horrible. If it does sound that horrible, I'm not even sure if it does. Because I'm just hearing it through my headsets, my headset right now. It kind of, I can really hear it, like, jumping out. Wait, let me check something. Sorry. I'm seeing what it looks like on my TV with text. Because it looks funny when I'm running. Okay, I'm gonna quit complaining about my quality for right now. Who knows? I should I should be happy that I at least have a capture card, which is a little bit better than my camera. Anyway, the last one over here is is this outside. If you have 50 species of Pokemon, it'll give you an EXP share, and if you hold that on a Pokemon, that will give you uh, extra experience to the Pokemon without them even having the battle and the being in the battle like. Okay, so the main part, one of the main parts of the after game, this is the main, like, after game storyline. Like, after that, we'll go after Legendaries, after I'm done with the storyline, with where we're going right now. I'll start doing some of the Legendaries. Alrighty. Oh, 
I go in Oak's building in Pallet Town, talk to Oak. Good to see you. How is your Pokédex coming along? Here, let me take a look. The amount of process you made on your Pokédex is 133 Pokémon seen and 60 owned. Woohoo! That is turning into quite a respectable Pokédex. Ah, now this is exciting. Wesley, I have another important favor to ask you. I need you to listen closely. Recently, there has been many been sightings of many rare Pokemon species. I'm talking about Pokemon that haven't have never been seen in Kanto. I would love to go see things for myself, but I am too old. Oh, poor Oak. <laughs> Since I can't do it, Wesley, I'd like you to go in my place. And here comes Gary. He's all ticked off. Oh, you prefer Wes over me. Oh, here we go again. I know, I know. Of course, I need your help too. Now, I need both. I need to see both your Pokédexes. Now we take your Pokédexes, and that's done. Now these units can record more data of lots of po a lot more Pokémon. And we update our Pokédex to a national dex, which means instead of 151 Pokémon, it's 386 now, I believe. I'll get the Pokédex completed, don't you worry about a thing. I think I'll, I'll try looking around island or one island first. Always, I'm out of here. Anyway, so yeah, let's go to one island too and follow Gary and stalk him. <laughs> uh, not really. Did you actually don't see him at one island, really. Anyway, get to one island, we gotta go back to Vermilion again. Do -do. Anyway, walk to the dock where uh, the SSN used to be. Um, yeah, you can go here and click whichever island you want to go to. We're going to one, and then we take the boat, and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> do, 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 do. And we're going to go visit CeeLo again. Wesley, how have, how, how have things been for you? Oh, is that right? You've got more Pokemon. Do you know what? Maybe I can be useful to you. I'm modifying the network machine right now. Changing it so it can handle trades lo over long distances. When I get finished, you'll be trading. You'll be trading for exotic Pokemon from trainers far away. If there is a slight catch. For the, ne uh, for the link to work, the machine needs a special, special gemstone. It's supposed to be on one island, but I haven't found one yet. Who knows where it could be? Well, I do. You remember Mount Ember? Remember that big mountain thing here on Route uh, 1? I don't know if you remember if I even showed it in a previous video. Um, like, there was two Team Rocket guys standing in a corner on uh, in Mount Ember, like in the front of it. Well, let's go there. Um, I suggest, if you haven't yet, get a few Max Repels, because you'll be running through grass, and blah 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 blue. I'm sure you don't want to just randomly run into wild Pokemon every five seconds. At least I don't. Maybe you do. I don't know. Follow the steps. Into Mount Ember we go. Yeah, over here. We we'll punch through that at last. Let's go treasure hunting. Any treasure we find, we'll haul back to the warehouse. Understood? Oh, and what are the pra passwords at the rocket warehouse, I mean? What, you forgot the passwords? There's actually two. The first one's Goldine Needs Log. And the second is... Hey, Snoop's been listening in. Um, star this one has... This Team Rocket Run has, uh, I believe he has a Cubone, a Marowak, and this one has a, a Raditz taught to start out, so I'm just gonna battle him first because I have a choke set up. Trying to hor horn in all our treasure, don't bet on it. Anyway, this guy has four Pokemon. He's gonna start out with his Rattata, level 35. His next Pokemon is a Raticate, level 35. His next Pokemon is a Sandshrew, level 35. 
And his last Pokemon is a Sand Slash level 35. Wow, this guy. The switch out. Been even dropping on us, haven't you? Sure, whatever, who cares? Apparently, you. Anyway, this one has a Cubone level 37. <laughs> Why'd you have to win? What a setback. We have to regroup. You don't even think about taking a step inside here. If you want what's good for you, don't even think about this. Oh, what are you gonna do? Freaking hit me, help me with Pokeballs? Oh, 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 oh man, I went in. Oh, crap, I'm gonna get killed or something. They're probably gonna give me some sort of consequences. Oh, who cares? It's Team Rocket, what are they gonna do? <laughs> uh, yeah. Make sure you have strength. I should have said like a while back, but my bad. My pal wore off. I'm in here. You can find Slugma, which is a uh, Hoenn Pokemon from the Hoenn region. So yeah, just thought I'd point that out. Even though it's not really important, but you know, point it out. Push over. Come up. Push that down. Run the other way. You want to make sure you go here. Into this one. Push this over. Do -do 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 -do. Over here. Go down these steps. This is where you start finding Braille. Uh, this is just a language. I tried translating this and it looks like it's just spelling the whole alphabet out. Which is really weird. Um, right here is the thing that uh, CeeLo has been wanting. The gemstone. Which is a ruby. Woohoo, Ruby. I started translating this to... And it was like, everything has a meaning. And then it kind of just got confusing after there. So I stopped and I'm like, just forget it. And you saw how much, like, Braille I had to try to translate there. I even... I translated, like, three scripts of it there. And I'm like, forget this. <laughs> Push this over. Push this over. Run down the steps. Run up these steps. Run up these steps. <laughs> and then here we are again at the get at the front. Mount Ember. Um, just to tell you, we'll be back at Mount Ember later on when we're starting to capture the legendaries because Moltres is in here. Just to point out, I know that was a little bit of a spoiler, but whatever. Would have figured it out eventually. Anyway, let's fly back to one island. Well, at least the front. Yeah, one island, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <coughs> now I see him. Oh, that, that's. <laughs> and give him the ruby, and he puts it in. The machine. Simply amazing. I may I ask you one giant favor? I was studying gemstones, I discovered something important. There's another one that forms with a pair with a ruby. The other gemstone is supposed to be on the Sevi Islands. Please, will you go and find the other gem? I'll give you upgrade my pass, your password, port, and give you an extra town map and all that. It will be, it will let you to get all the Sevi Islands. Wes, please, I can't do it without your help. All right, I'll help you. Alright, let's go to island. I forget which island I should go to now. I think I should go to four. Anyway, let's just go in order. Let's go to island four. On your arrival here, you'll run into Gary on the grass. Well, on the sand, I should say. <laughs> hey, Wes, are you doing? what are you doing on the Sevi Islands? You should quit copying me, you know? Always, I always... I already got my Pokemon egg. I don't feel like reading this anymore. I'm smelling you. 
Well, later, I think it's on Island 5, you can, uh, well, point this out first, use Rock Smash and find an item back here, I'm just gonna point that out now, ta-da, do da do Anyway, one cool thing here on uh, Island 4 is that there's a daycare. Instead of just one Pokemon, you can have two here now. So you can go in here, go into your PC, put in two Pokemon. If you match them up, boy, girl, no homo. <laughs> but I guess it is kind of homo, but I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It'll make a Pokemon egg for you. Yeah, boy, girl. Too much information, I know. Anyway, I'm just gonna heal up. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna point out to you guys, I'm not trying to be cruel, I'm just trying to joke around with you guys a little bit. <sighs> anyway, also there's something, also, uh, well, other than you can teach Body Slam to one of your Pokemon, apparently. Um, one of the, one of the Elite Four members, I believe it's Lorelei or something her name is, I forget now. I'm just gonna say her name's Laura Lai. Anyway, the lead four members here. This is her house. She lives here. And apparently she likes Poke Dolls. Yeah. <laughs> just stop with my comment there. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, there's also this guy. He has stickers. Anyway. We'll give you stickers on things you've done. And because we beat the Hall of Fame on, uh, in, uh, Kanto, you know, the Elite Four and stuff. He'll put a little button on our, on our thingy. Which I gotta remember where it's at now. Oh, it's right there. And he'll, uh, he'll put that little button there and it shows that you beat the Elite Four. It's just a thing to gloat to people, I guess, or something. But you wouldn't be able to get it if you didn't, you know, didn't beat the Elite Four because you can't come here until then. Anyway, ooh, chili, slushy, all that good stuff. Well, let's go to Icefall Cave here. Uh, these are Max Repel. Let's explore this place a little bit. I've noticed that I'm running low on time, but I don't care. We're gonna make a pretty decent big video. Anyway, walk in here, um, if you walk on this, it cracks, and if you walk on it again, it'll completely shatter. So you might want to be careful when walking on this ice. Um, let's just explore this place really quick. Over there on the left side there, we will get to that in a little bit. See, you drop in, and I screwed it up. Oh, well. I gotta go to the upper one. You gotta go to this one. You land on this patch of ice, you take the stairs to go up, apparently, and be on this side. We am sliding. Actually, you need to go up here. Because you need to land on the right piece of ice, just to so you can do this pattern right. Ah, shoot, I screwed it up. Well, I believe if you hit this one, you can get this item here. Yes, you can. Which is a never melt ice. It boosts uh, ice type attacks. So yeah. And then when I go down here again, I'm guessing this is the right area because that other one just took me to that. And wait, so yeah. Walk over out in this. There's a forward store. And look at that. We're at the end of the cave already, which we found waterfall. Which is what we conveniently needed. I actually forgot about that. I thought we already had it. Well, since we now have waterfall, we can go up this waterfall. <laughs> yeah, obvious much. Wait, teach it to one of my Pokemon. Well, Gyarados is the only one that can learn it, but I don't think I can erase anything. No, I can't. I don't want to erase all these other moves. So let me, uh, oh man, what am I going to do here? Let's 
screw it. I'm just gonna go get a, like an extra water type just so I can have a waterfall. Okay, so finally. Um, yeah, let's go up waterfall with Lapras. Woo, going up. <laughs> anyway, let's go in here. Go in the pretty cave. Set up your team. Um, not sure to set up. I'm just gonna set out, uh, Garrett, or Charizard and Mia. Um, walk up here, and here's Lorelei. Keep your filthy hands off the Pokemon in this cave. Do as I say, or you have to answer to me. Oh, shut up, lady, and leave us be. Don't let your glasses get all steamed up. Oh, now you pressed line. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, she takes on two, we take on one. So yeah, battling kind of, in a way, alongside an elite four trainer against just stupid Team Rocket people. Whatever, really. Anyway, this guy has three Pokemon. He has his Zubat level 38. And his last Pokemon is a Golbat level 38. Spickly Wheat, you tell me. Or have you taken the captured Pokemon? I'll smash your ring once and for all. No way, I'm not telling you that. Deep Freeze you. Yeah, Lapras go Ice Beam. Ah, uh, okay, we'll talk. And where, Rocket Warehouse, Island, Five Island. Yeah, hee hee, at the warehouse that they were talking about before. Thank you, th but this is awful. I was born and raised on these islands. I had no idea that there was terrible criminals loose here. Anyway, so yeah, a lot has happened in this episode, I guess you could say. So yeah, I think we're going to head to Five Island in the next episode. So yeah. And besides, that's pretty much it all here on uh, Four Island, from what all I told you. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we head to Five Island. Alright, see you guys then.